test mic sound check hey what's up guys learning with rich here so for today's topic we are going to talk about the most common types of data in dynamo that any dynamo user will work with all right so the three most common types of inputs are numbers strings and boolean all right so you should be able to be familiarized in this term although uh, dynamo was created to be a programming environment for architecture engineering and construction professionals who don't have a background in programming there are few basic programming concepts that you should understand in order to get dynamo working well for you and like what i have said these are the uh, three basic or the three most common data type which is our uh, numbers strings and boolean okay so you will be able to find these nodes on our input if you go to our library input library here and then you can see there's the basic just expand that so you'll be able to see here our boolean number and string all right so let's start with number so i'm going to click the number here to drop one on our canvas okay so so we can set whichever number we'd like to use as an input by clicking on the gray box. Okay, we already did this in our uh, last video. Okay, but just a review for a number. So you just need to click here on the gray box and then you can type here the number that you want. So currently it has a zero inside of it. So by changing that number to whatever we want. So let's say, for example, I'm going to change this to uh, 10. I'm going to enter okay and then after that you can just click outside you can just click on the background again and we've now changed the input of that particular number now let's see the data coming out of our number by connecting it to our favorite node which is our watch node all right so you can click here on the search bar and then you can type watch okay so just click that one watch right and then we are going to wire this to our watch so we can see the output of the number, which is 10. Okay, so as you can see, the number that's coming out of our number input is 10. Okay, as displayed in our watch mode. Now, we can go ahead and change our number input again. Okay, so we are not committed on 10. So we are going to change that, let's say, for example, to uh, 25. Okay, so I'm going to type 25 and then again, our watch node will show us 25. Okay, automatically it will uh, run because our execution bar here is set to uh, automatic. Okay, we can also type in decimals as part of our number input. So maybe let's say, for example, I'm going to type here 17.5. Okay, enter. And again, you'll notice how our watch node updates to show not only the whole number but 17.5 okay and also a little something to keep in mind when you are using dynamo you might see certain nodes that ask for specific types of number inputs like for example integers and doubles so when you say integers so they are whole numbers that do not have decimals for example the number 10 or number 15 okay they don't have decimal a double on the other hand is a computer science term for a number that goes or that does include a decimal like for example this one 17.5 it gets the name double because it's a set of two numbers so there's a number before the decimal point and a number after that's why it's called double so if you see a node that looks for a double it's asking for a number okay remember that again if you see a node that looks for a double it's asking for a number so don't go looking for a double number input so we could just use our number input and you are allowed to use a decimal on that node all right so that is our first common use data type which is number okay the next one is a string okay so this is the next common input type in uh, dynamo which is a string so I'm going to close this one and then I'm going back to input basic and then I'm going to click string okay so this is now the string 
Okay, so sometimes we'll see a string that's used to maybe populate a text parameter in Revit or maybe we'll use it to place notes on our architectural drawing sheets. Sometimes we'll also use it as a way of specifying the location of a file on your computer or your server. Alright, so I'm going to create another watch here for my string. So I'll just need to select the watch and then I copy that, control C and then control V. Okay, so as you can see, the duplicated node, watch node is still connected to number because that is where we have copied it. It's connected it before. So I'm going to disconnect that by clicking this portion and then clicking here outside. Okay. All right. So let's say I'm going to key in here a value. Like, for example, uh, a string is a data type. Okay. And then enter. Oh, sorry, not enter. So I'll just backspace and then just click outside. All right. And then I'm going to connect this to my watch node. Again, it returns a string is a data type. So that is the output of my string here okay so now in the same way as a number node so we are not committed to this particular input if you want to change this one you can change that like for example the quick brown fox and then just click outside again it will update okay so we can always click on the gray box and type something different and you'll notice that the watch node updates automatically based on the changes that we made to our string input now the last common data type is a boolean all right so is the boolean so this is our boolean just click that one so we're going to drop another one here okay so boolean is a data type that only has two possible values so as you can see here it's true and false. So we'll see that booleans are often used in Dynamo to ask questions about your data. So for example, you might want to use a function that tests whether or not a door object's area is too big for a manufacturer to reasonably fabricate. So if the answer is yes, the boolean value true will be returned but if the answer is no, it will return false, something like that. So after we drop our boolean here, so unlike our number or our string inputs, we don't have a box that we can type text or numbers into. Here we only have two options, a true or false. So I'm going to copy again the watch here, copy and then paste. Right, and then I'm going to do, uh, dis disconnect that, and then I'm going to connect this. So currently it's false, so I'm going to connect that. So the watch node will return the value false here, okay? Because the false button is selected on our boolean input. So if we change that value to true, okay, you can see that the watch node updates, and we're now reporting a true value instead of our false. All right, so basically these are the three most common data types used in Dynamo. So now that we have a basic understanding of these common data types, so on our next video, we will put them in action, okay, that will perform functions on these inputs. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.